In the 1960s, in the Atapuerca Mountains of central Spain, a cave was discovered that would answer as many questions as it would create. While workers were digging a railway line through the mountains, a sinkhole revealed an underground cave complex containing a wealth of archaeological artifacts. Over the ensuing decades, archaeologists dug deeper and deeper until, in 1983, they discovered a 45-foot vertical shaft that led to a mysterious pit of bones. At first, the remains were assumed to be human. However, once they began studying the bones, scientists realized they differed from those of modern Homo sapiens. Were these the remains of Neanderthals? Not exactly. Were they the remains of our non-human primate relatives, like apes or gorillas? No. Unable to match the remains with known species, hmm. the archaeologists began wondering whether they had discovered an elusive missing link in human evolution. Next, they turned to carbon dating for answers and found the bones were 400,000 years old. In fact, they were the oldest human DNA ever sequenced by almost 300,000 years. The human-like remains were that of an entirely new species, perhaps an ancestor to Neanderthals, and were dubbed the Sima hominins after the very cave in which they were discovered. While the scientific community rejoiced at the discovery, they also started asking, how did these bones get to the bottom of a cave 100 feet underground? One theory is that they may have been swept away by floods when venturing into the caverns. However, this wouldn't entirely make sense, since the cave contains the remains of 175 bears, along with foxes and lions. Another theory is that the hominins were brought there by the bears themselves. But that's unlikely, as humans don't make for easy prey. There is evidence to suggest that mass homicide might have played a role. This is due to signs of blunt force trauma and combat-like injuries to some of the hominin skulls. But even if they were murdered, it still wouldn't explain how they got there in the first place. The presence of a single hand axe nicknamed Excalibur encouraged a theory that the cave is actually a burial site. If this were true, it would push back the date of the first known human mortuary practices by roughly 300,000 years. Another interesting discovery was that of naturally deformed skulls of young children and the crippled remains of an elderly man. The fact that these individuals lived to such ages with their disabilities suggests that they had someone in the community looking after them, displaying some of the earliest known archaeological evidence of modern human-like behavior. While debate still rages as to how and why these ancient people ended up in such a bizarre spot, there's no doubt their discovery has opened up a whole new world of possibility in the story of human evolution.